It is the year 2035. The earth has been scorched and the seas have run dry. Wars have been waged for precious resources. Now all that remains is the scars of the past. Only the nobility of society were able to preserve the normal ways of life in Victory City, the last urban area standing. The rest of the population fights over what meager supplies remain, sectioning themselves into different clans. These clans have one thing in common. Each year, a champion is picked from each clan to fight against each other in a battle to the death. The winning clan will be allowed to live out the rest of their days within victory. They all seek out sanctuary for those they love. I'll take point. I don't know, Gino. This looks pretty much picked clean. Doesn't hurt to look. Right? <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Gino. This is literally just a pile of trash. I think we're wasting our time here, so- Letty, shut it. We've got company. Who do you think it is? If we're lucky, it's the back of Reavers. And if it's the Bloodhorns? Then we'd better hope they're not feeling hungry. Let's give them a wide berth, alright? Hopefully they're also not feeling up to fighting over a pile of trash today. The clans are getting more active again. It's almost time to pick a champion. That's all. I can't believe it's happening again so soon. Bloody, it happens every year. Mm, I know. I mean, I can't believe it's been a year since father- He knew what he was doing when he volunteered. He took a gamble. His life for our sanctuary. He lost. I wish you wouldn't speak like that. What? Would you rather I praise him as some kind of fucking hero? He was stupid, thinking that he could win a fight to the death against a dozen other desperate horses. Face it, Folletti. Our clan will never live in Victory City, and Dad died for nothing. Find anything? Not this time, Gerald. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry too much about it. I'm more concerned about how you're holding up. The heart of yours giving you any trouble? Not right now. I'm good for the moment. We came across another clan patrol. Butthorns? We couldn't tell didn't get close enough to find out. 
If they're this far west, then it can only mean that they're running out of resources back east. This doesn't bode well for us at all. Well, then this is the year it has to happen. Floody. This is the year we have to win the tournament. What was I just telling you? It's not gonna happen. You don't know that, Gino! We're never going to get something unless we keep trying for it, no matter what. And I know you want this just as much as anyone. I... Bloody, are you... Hey, sis, it's okay. Just breathe. Gerald, get her medication now. That's it. There we go. It's alright. Nothing to be scared of. You're feeling better? A lot better. Thank you. Do you know? Yeah. I, I need you to understand. I keep talking about the tournament, because I believe, I believe in us and the dreams of sanctuary we all share. Is the only thing we've not lost yet, so please, brother, hold on to that dream, for me. Good night, Valetti. It's not going to be me. Get Leon to do it. He's way stronger than I am. You're a fucking idiot if you think my strength is going to win for me, Aspen. You gotta be smart about how you play the game. That's all there is to it. Do you know? Yeah. You got a minute? What's up? It's Floody's medicine. We're almost out. We've got four, maybe five shots left. All it would take is for her to have a bad week and our entire stock would be gone. Shit. Any chance of trading with another clan? You're kidding, right? Even if another clan didn't kill us upon sight, we don't have anything valuable enough to trade for medicine of all things. Well then, is there any way we can make it? Maybe if you- Gino, look. I know you don't want to admit it to yourself, but we both know exactly how to get the medicine she needs. They're able to actually manufacture it in Victory City, Gino. Supply and demand, we- It's not gonna happen. No way will any of us win the tournament. You keep saying that, but the truth is, you don't know for sure how it's going to turn out. I know exactly how it will turn out. Some poor bastard from our clan will arrive at the tournament and his face will be promptly eaten off by a bloodhorn. And if that doesn't happen, a reaver will poison him and he'll die a slow, agonizing death. But it's all the same in the end. Death. Well, let me tell you how it's going to turn out if we don't win. Death. For your sister, for you, for all of us. We won't make it past the summer. It seems like, to me, at least trying to change our circumstances is the lesser of the two evils here. I know she means the world to you. Is this how you want it to end? I'm not saying you have to be the one to volunteer, but at least have some faith. No. I'll do it. I'll compete in the tournament. No one else wants to volunteer anyway. Gina, come on, man. We know how you feel about this. And I still feel that way, but not just that way. 
I want to protect my sister, give her the life she deserves. I'm grateful to all of you that have helped keep her healthy up to this point. But it's not enough. Gerald's right. None of us, least of all Folletti, will make it through the summer. If we don't starve to death first, then another clan will sweep through and slaughter us in our beds. This is a choice made for our survival, regardless of how I personally feel. officials from Victory City will be here any day now. Get yourself ready, if you're sure about doing this. I am. Heads up, something coming over the dune. Which clan do you think it is? Maybe it's not a clan. Could be Victor City officials. They don't look armed. Hello there. My name is Marzi, chief organizer of the tournament and chairman of the Victory City Immigration Board. To which clan am I speaking to? The scavengers. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The scavengers. There are certainly a lot less of you this year. No matter. Which one of you will be volunteering? Or are you abstaining? I'm volunteering. Splendid. I'm going to need you to sign this. By signing this document, you agree to the rules of the tournament and forfeit any right to place blame on the citizens of Victory City for any maiming, trauma, or death that may befall you. It also binds you to remaining within Victory City should you win the tournament, except for in the case that you commit any illegal activity within its walls. Do we have an understanding? Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Our next stop will be the tournament grounds themselves. I hope you've said your goodbyes. Gino! Bloody. I love you. Come back to us soon. I love you. where we part ways, scavenger. Beyond this point is the rest of the playing field, if you will. You may not come past this point again unless you've won the tournament. Wait, what about the other champions? I'm sure you'll come across them soon enough. If you do come in contact with another champion, it is in your best interest to kill them, of course. You'll find weapons scattered throughout the landscape, along with other supplies. 
In the event that you actually manage to kill another champion, we've given you beacons in that little bag. It's required that you light it up at night once you've killed someone. What happens if I don't? Well, if you don't, then we can't keep accurate track of how many horses are left. You don't want to be stranded out here forever, do you? Kill the horses, light the beacons, win the game. Good luck. We wish you victory. Cut me down like that horse? Oh, believe me. If I really wanted you dead, we wouldn't be talking. So what is this, huh? We're really just having a friendly chat in the middle of a fight to the death? You catch on fast. It's a friendly chat, but a possible alliance. I'm willing if you are. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Only one of us can win. There are no alliances. It's easier to kill if it's two on one. We stick together, and then when it's just us, we sort things out as they should be. No tricks. Just strategy for playing the game. 
Why does everybody call it that? Can't think of a better word to describe it, really. But we can discuss our involvement with Victory City's master plans after we put down our weapons, don't you think? You can call me Oliver. I'm Stoneborn Clan. You? Gino. Scavenger Clan. Shit. So you're from the West, though. Huh? Are things as terrible there as they are up north? Things are terrible everywhere. That's how it is. Not in Victory City. No. Not in Victory City. There. That's one down. Only 19 more to go. We got lucky with that one. Any other horses we come across won't be so easy to kill. If I remember correctly, you were lucky. I was there to save your ass from being crushed into the dunes. Yeah, well, I'd thank you if I knew for certain that you're not going to stab me in the back later. I already told you. We'll sort things out as they should be when it's just us. I don't want some poor cult's life weighing down my conscience. I'm really not as young as you seem to think I am. You may look tough on the outside, but your soul is young. I can tell. Fuck, you are a weird one. Weird enough to bet my life on a shot at Sanctuary, at least. Not really my decision in the first place, to tell you the truth. I was expected to volunteer this year by the rest of my clan. <laughs> Family tradition or some bullshit. You? My twin sister. She has a problem with her heart. It's too weak, been that way ever since we were little. There's medication for it, but we've practically run out. If I don't win this, then I'm not the only member of my clan who will be dying. Another champion. Sounds like they've already lost. A murder is a two-party affair. Whoever made her scream like that won't be far away. Let's take care of that now, shall we? Do they? Gino! What are you doing? Swing at him! I... I'm... Feel free to help whenever you want. I've got to know you're capable of this, scavenger. Take a swing. I just... I don't understand, Dad. Why are you doing this? I don't expect you to understand it now, son. The short of it is that I'm doing this for you and your sister. I only want the best for you, and that's not going to happen out here. But Dad, we're scavengers. In all the years that the tournament has taken place, we've hardly ever volunteered someone. We don't 
kill for our supplies. We only take what we need to survive. This is what I want you to understand, Gino. I'm doing this because we are scavengers. You're right. It is our way of life to take what we need to survive. If we need to take lives to survive, we will do it. I will do it for your future. I hope that if you were in my place, you would do the same for your family. I wasn't sure you had it in you. We should get going soon. This guy must have found us because of the first beacon. Others will be on their way after you light that up. Hey, you okay? Y yes, I'm fine. You're right. We gotta get moving. We have time if you need to take a moment. That was your first kill. Right. I won't judge you for needing a minute to process. I'm fine. What I need is for you to stop coddling me. Gino, look. What is it? <laughs> Don't tell me you've never seen grass before. Grass? Yeah. Probably means there's a water source nearby, too. Come on, we could use a rest. Gino, get your ass in here. This doesn't grow down south. I've never seen such a color that's not made artificially. Well, it's growing down south now. Maybe it's a good sign. A sign that the world's finally healing from what we did to it. Do you usually take this long to make yourself look nice, boy? I'm not that young, so stop that. Oh, my apologies. exactly keep walking forever and hope that we run into someone. A good point. I think I've actually got an idea of how to take out a good number of our opponents. We each have a bag full of beacons, right? Ultimately, we're not going to use all of them. What I'm thinking is, we set up a sort of trap. The horse we killed last night knew where we were because of the beacon. If we light one up each night, it'll draw the champions straight to us and we'll be prepared for the fight. The beacons aren't for a distraction. They're to be used once we've killed someone, so Victory City knows how many are left. If we use them like that, it will throw the game. Come on, you really believe that shit? Gino, Victory City is always watching us. They don't need beacons to determine the winner. I almost think they gave them to us for the exact reason I've outlined. But even if what you're saying is true, how are you so sure we're going to survive every night? Call it a gut feeling, or maybe cockiness. Either way, I'm not going down without a fight. 
And I imagine you won't either. No. <laughs> I'll be interested to see what happens when we finally face off against each other. Faintly I'll go that three of the champions have already made it to the oasis, madam. Oh my, so soon. Oh, well. That's not a problem, Mozzie. I wouldn't worry about it. That's not what I came to inform you of, actually, madam. Scavenger and the Stoneborn. They're calling each other allies. And this is not the first time in the history of the tournament that champions have tried to team up. We know how it will end. What if they decided to spare each other's lives in the end? Then we will see to it that none of them enter Victory City. I don't need horses that think shocking displays of courage are going to get them anywhere. I need, I 
The man. Complacency. Of course, madam. I'll handle that personally, if it comes to it. You mentioned a third horse? Yes, madam. A bloodhorn. He seems to be tracking them. Then I don't think we'll be needing to get our hooves dirty anytime soon. Thank you, Muzzy. That will be all.